Hello and welcome to this mini case study video from Capra Energy's LNG Pricing, Trading, and Risk Management Training Series. My name is Tamir Drews and I'm Capra Energy's Lead Trainer and Director. The focus of this case study is financial hedging of long-term physical LNG exposures and specifically we're going to use the Long-Term LNG Sale and Purchase Agreement, or SPA, that Pakistan has been negotiating with Qatar and explain how either counterparty might go about hedging their exposure from that deal. So let's go ahead and jump right into the terms of the deal that's likely to be signed between Qatar and Pakistan. If we look at some of the press, we see here in Pakistan's business recorder that the discussions are for a deal with a term of 15 years and that delivery will be into the Port Kasim Karachi FSRU or Floating Storage and Regasification Unit. Also we see that Qatar has offered pricing at a slope of 13.5% of Brent crude oil. Now we also have a more recent article here, also from the Business Recorder, and it appears that there has been some progress on the pricing discussion and specifically the agreed upon formula will produce an LNG price for Pakistan of $8.10 per MMBTU based on crude oil, crude oil prices of $65 per barrel. Knowing these key bits of information, let's first estimate the price slope that's been agreed to. Now if you recall, Pakistan will be paying a delivered LNG price of $8.10 per MMBTU when the Brent crude oil price is $65 per barrel. This ratio represents the price slope in the contract pricing formula and comes out to 0.125 or 12.5%. Now, this is just an approximation and SPA pricing formulas will typically have features like time lags and multi-month averaging windows. <clears throat> But for the sake of simplicity, we will assume that this price slope is to be applied to the settlement price of the Brent futures contract corresponding to the LNG delivery month. Finally, notice that we've been careful here to specify the units of the price slope, which are often not clearly expressed. And these units are barrels per MMBTU. As we shall see, these units will help us to understand how the price slope can be applied for calculating both the fixed price that is achieved through hedging and the size of the financial hedge that's, that's needed. So, now let's move on to the next two calculations. First, we'll determine the fixed price that can be locked in right now if we use the Brent crude futures contract to hedge the index exposure in the Pakistan-Qatar deal. We'll use the January 2016 delivery month as an example but the same approach would apply across the whole term of the deal. 
we start by looking at where the January 2016 Brent futures contract is trading right now. And if we check the ICE website, we see, if we scroll down here and look at the different forward months, we see that the January 2016 contract last traded at a price of $50.76 per barrel. Now, of course, the market's moving as I'm talking, but we'll go ahead and assume that we can transact our hedge at that price point. So if we go back to our calculation and we multiply that $50.76 um, Brent price against our slope of 0.125, the result we obtain is $6.34.5 per MMBTU of delivered LNG. Now that represents the sale price that Qatar can lock in for its sales of LNG cargoes to be delivered in January 2016 under this SPA. And if it's Pakistan that's performing this analysis, it represents the purchase price that they would be able to lock in for their January 2016 cargoes by doing a financial hedge. The other key question is how many Brent futures contracts would be needed for this hedge? And the key pieces of information that we need are, again, the price slope and also the quantity of LNG that will be delivered into Pakistan. So again, we're going to use January 2016 for our example. And we're going to assume or just look at the size of financial hedge needed for a single three and a half million MMBTU cargo. Notice again, the units of the price slope, barrels per MMBTU. When we multiply by the LNG quantity in MMBTUs, the product has units of barrels, which represents the notional size of the financial hedge using Brent crude oil that we need. And we see, we see here that 437,500 barrels or 437 and a half contracts, which each have a size of 1,000 barrels would be needed to hedge a single cargo under this SPA. Finally, we always find it helpful to look at how a planned hedge performs under different market scenarios. So let's assume two cases, one in which there's a material increase in the price of Brent and another where there's a decrease. We're going to look at these two scenarios from the perspective of the buyer, Pakistan. In the first scenario, we ask the question, what would happen to the physical and financial sides of Pakistan's January 2016 LNG position if the price of Brent shoots up by $10 per barrel? Well, the physical price Pakistan would pay for its January LNG cargo would increase to $7.59.5 per MMBTU as compared to $6.34.5 under the current futures price. Now this would result in an extra cost of $4.4 million for its January 2016 cargo. But fortunately, the financial hedge would completely offset that entire loss. 
and a $10 increase in Brent would produce a $4.4 million financial gain. Similarly, if the price of Brent declines by $10 per barrel, the contract price would also decrease to $5.00 and nine and a half cents, which would represent a savings on the physical cargo of $4.4 million. But in this case, the financial hedge would deliver a loss that would be equal in magnitude to the physical gain, thus ensuring that the net realized purchase price for the LNG cargo is fixed at six dollars and thirty four and a half cents. Well, this concludes our mini case study presentation. Thanks very much for joining us, and we hope you visit us at capraenergy.com for more LNG and energy trading and risk management resources. Thank you.